Hi, I'm Stuck, and uh, this is Bound to Thursdays. And today's episode is sponsored by no other than the amazing crew over at Integrity. And if you feel like you want to give their platform a go, and you haven't already signed up, use my link. It's go.integrity.com slash stuck. So if you're like me and you're really liking the content discovery part of the bug hunting, a lot of people have been doing it for a very, very long time, but I've just really, really started to enjoy it very, very much. And I understand the value of creating custom um, target-based word lists. And Adam Langley just dropped a really cool tool for that. It's called Git Scraper. And what it does is that it um, you type in uh, whatever repos that you're looking at and it's just gonna go through that and just get all these different kind of folders and endpoint and paths and stuff. So it's a very useful thing if you're looking to build a word list. And currently in his repository, I'm just gonna look it up. There is a current upload there and it contains 11 million, 11 million 85,399 uh, PHP files from 73,155 different repositories. Okay, you, you just don't take that 11 million and you just shove it into a word list and send it away. It's, it's gonna need some curation, of course, but content discovery is super, super important. And as long as you're just not using the same raft list that everybody else is using, you might find the use of stuff that, um, that will help you analyze your target and, and eventually, you know, get a crit or five. But if creating word lists isn't really your jam, then hey, Shiv is not on the lazy side during this pandemic. He has released yet another uh, tool called URL Probe. Quite genius and simple in its design. This has, this has been done before, but now it's based in Go. It's being pre-delivered with Axiom, and I really like it. So all you kind of do is just take whatever, let's say you're running Acid Finder, subs only for a domain and then you're requesting all that information using Wayback URLs or, or a GAO to get all the lists and then you're sending those through GF and uh, looking for redirects you will end up with having URL probe trying to access all those URLs for you and you will see what's live and what's not. Super useful if you've got a lot of data to go through and you just want to send it through and, and check what's valid and what's not. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. I just had to go for a quick lunch break to get some food in my belly. And speaking about food, uh, thank you everyone that decided to buy me ramen last week. I'm, I'm overwhelmed about the support that I got from the community. Uh, wow. Uh, I decided to uh, give you the opportunity to sort, support the work that I do by Hey, buy me a ramen. And you can do that over at, weirdly enough, buymeacoffee.com buy slash Duke Frederick. Big shout out to everyone that decided to support this cause. I'm forever grateful for that. I'm so, so grateful uh, because that means I can continue doing the things that I love and that is creating content for you. But now, now let's get on with it. <laughs> Okay, uh, Try Hack Me recently had a little bit of a competition out. And uh, if you are eager to, um, if you are a Try Hack Me user and you um, want to win a Burp Suite um, license for a year, enter their competition. I'm just reading this straight out loud. Uh, learn the basics of major components of Burp Suite, a security tool for testing web applications. Complete this room and be entered into a drawing to receive a Burp Suite professional license for a year. Winner announced on 13th of June. So if you're running on community and you have a Try Hack Me uh, membership, why don't give that a go? I have no idea what you're doing on Saturday, but I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna be over at uh, twitch.tv slash Nahamsek for Nahamcon. That's gonna be seven hours starting 9 a.m. PDT of awesome talks. We, we're talking about 
I mean, he's gonna name the talks here. It's gonna be who, what, where, when word list with Tom Nom Nom. You got pawn exploiting email systems by Security. Owning online games with only web hacking experience by Sam. There's gonna be the act of balancing with Chloe. The pawn machine, uh, an easy to set up pawn station by BitK. Um, a heaven for hackers breaking web security virtual appliance by MD Isaac. Hope I got that right. Practicing attack surface ATB request smuggling with Defparam. <laughs> and then JWT amazing stuff by Sniff. Scaling up the automated attack surface dis uh, discovery with Intrigue Core by Jcran. Security training and the harbor running CTF with Docker by John Hammond. Then it's going to be the closing ceremony. Seven hours of content that's directly related to AppSec, pen testing. Hacking, bounties. Be there, be there. So I don't know if you've seen it, <laughs> but SSH Gate Live is such an amazing site to just have running in your background. It's quite funny because it's collect and grabs all these um, different kind of keys that sent to Git in, in, in commits and. You can see and it, there's going to be usernames and passwords and keys and everything just flowing through there. Of course, this is not, not a, you, you, you can't touch and play around with this, but it, it's, it's a great inspiration every time you think that there's no bugs <laughs> coming your way because people are committing stuff all the time. I know it, it's been a while since I mentioned the work that Pentacious Land does, but the kind of stuff that's been entered into Bug Bytes is really amazing. It's one of the few resources that I read on a weekly basis. So if you want to see where the inspiration for the stuff that I do comes from, uh, definitely uh, subscribe to Bug Bytes and uh, check out the work that Pentester's Land does. Uh, also, if you haven't already uh, checked the previous episodes of uh, Bounty Thursdays, now is your time. Um, Spend some time watching through the rest of them. Until next time, stay curious.